Hello, everyone, and welcome to Mindset Monday, your dose of intention and impact. I'm Miranda Yim, a two-time Olympian with Team Canada, and today we're talking about an alternative championship mindset and the capricious nature of results. I just won a championship. In the midst of a unique year filled with uncertainty, mental and emotional hurdles, and ever-changing COVID protocols, my professional team, Basketland, won the French championship. Although we performed well throughout the season and were ranked number three going into the final four, we were not expected to win. Not the underdogs, but not the favorite either. But the story starts well before this moment, as it always does. I spent six years with this team. I learned its ins and outs, its history, and its identity. It's a club that's less concerned with your stat line than it is with how you show up on the court. It's a club that values the energy you give, the attitude you display, and your commitment and a relationship with volunteers and sponsors alike. It's a club that's nestled in the heart of a region called Les Landes, made up of small villages and a countryside communities with a familial spirit and a dedication to common values like integrity, hard work, and sacrifice. They're the same values I've built my life around, so this environment immediately struck a chord with me. From the first year I arrived at Basketland, I knew this was where I wanted to finish my career. It's the kind of club that you want to see do well. Again, coming from that humble, hardworking community, far from the bougie shores of Saint-Tropez or the refined streets of Paris, it's a club that worked hard to get to where it's at, without superstars, without a huge budget, without pretense. It's a club and business model that was built incrementally and intentionally. Instead of recruiting superstars, they chose to recruit solid team players. Instead of looking for the highest scorers, they chose to hang their hat on defense. Instead of lauding the self-aggrandizing showboats, they applaud effort plays and sacrifice. On an administrative level, they protected themselves from overextending financially by practicing good stewardship and collaborating with community businesses and organizations. It was a slow, steady build towards something sustainable. But too often in life, these kinds of organizations and people don't get the recognition they deserve. You've likely seen it in your own circle. They take a pay cut in order to do more meaningful work. They turn down an opportunity based on principle. They put others before themselves. They work diligently in the shadows without grasping for the light, without acknowledgement, praise, or even encouragement. And maybe it's you. Maybe you've sacrificed, worked hard, aligned yourself with a worthy goal, but just aren't seeing the results that you want. The recognition, rewards, and results usually go to the loudest person, the highest earner, the most followed, regardless of their correctness, means, or methods. And this is why I was so overwhelmed and grateful that our club won this championship. We were able to balance integrity with skill, teamwork with competitiveness, and long-term planning with short-term execution. And as everything worked together and planets aligned, we were able to perform together to achieve a wonderful result. But here's the crux of the issue, especially for those in tune with the importance of quality processes and high standards. The result won't always come. I got the storybook ending to my career. It was glorious, and I will never forget the beautiful emotion I shared with my teammates, coaches, staff, the city, and the entire Land region. 
But I can think of many, many other times in my life when I did the work and didn't get the result. I should specify that I'm talking about the external result. The external result won't always come. You won't always get the medal or the trophy or the newspaper article to shout out your successes from the rooftop. You won't always get the recognition of the people you want to impress. And you may not get this physical representation of your growth and hard work and all the sweat and tears that you put in. But believe me, you're on the right path. This is your encouragement to continue. Continue working in the dark. Continue being generous. Continue stretching yourself. Continue holding those around you accountable. Continue focusing on your priorities. Continue honing in on what really matters. Continue focusing on the process because that's where you live your life. That's where you become who you are. That's where your character is formed and your legacy is built. The rewards may or may not come. That's out of your hands. What is in your control is the way you approach each day and the way you treat those around you. So choose well and choose wisely.